If your Appian application feels slow, finding the root cause can be frustrating. Today, we'll go through how to solve these performance issues using one of the most powerful tools in Appian, the Query Performance tab. In this video, you'll learn how to find inefficient queries, analyze their syntax, and fix them for good. All right, let's get started. First, let's quickly talk about why this is so important. The way your application queries data can have a massive impact on its overall performance. Slow applications can lead to frustrated users, low adoption rates, and reduced productivity, which ultimately hurts the business. That's why thinking about performance isn't just something to do at the end. It's a key part of a successful development lifecycle. Let's introduce our use case for today. We'll be working with a company called Acme Auto. Acme Auto is in the final user acceptance testing, or UAT phase for their new vehicle intake application. During testing, users reported that the interface for searching customer vehicles is unacceptably slow. These performance issues are a major roadblock, and they must be resolved before the application can be approved for deployment. So, Let's put on our performance detective hats and help out Acme Auto. The first place we need to go is the monitoring view in Appian Designer. From there, click on the tab labeled Query Performance. To begin our investigation, we need to start capturing front-end performance data by toggling on Capture Query Performance. We've now asked the tester at Acme Auto to perform that slow vehicle search one more time. After they've done that, we'll come back to the Query Performance tab and hit Refresh. At first glance, this grid has a lot of information. Let's focus on the key columns that are most useful for testing. We have the columns for total field count, execution time, start time, and others to help you identify the query. You can use the filters on the side to narrow down these results to a specific application, user, or time frame. For the Acme Auto use case, we want to isolate the exact queries from that specific test. So, we'll filter by the query start time, the tester who initiated the query, and the name of the interface that is performing poorly. And just like that, the noise is gone. We can immediately see queries with a very high execution time. This is our prime suspect. Now that we've found our problem query, it's time to dig deeper to understand why it's so slow. I'm going to click on the query ID for this row, which opens the query syntax dialog. This view shows us the exact expression that was run which is crucial for debugging. Over on the right, the query summary pane confirms the exact component that ran the query. Looking at the query, the syntax immediately reveals the problem. The query is pulling a large number of fields from the record type, which we can confirm by looking at the total field count. This inefficient query structure is the root cause of the performance issue, as it is retrieving more fields than is used in the interface. And this is the magic of the query performance tab. We're no longer guessing what the problem might be. We have concrete evidence showing us the exact query, the user who ran it, the interface it came from, and the count of fields retrieved. So, what's next? After running the test again and refreshing the Query Performance tab, we can now show definitive proof of our fix. The execution time for the exact same action is dramatically lower, and we can also see that the total field count is much smaller. The performance issue is resolved and the application is now one step closer to a successful deployment. So let's quickly recap the key takeaways. First, enable query capture in your test environment to gather the data. Second, use the filters to isolate the specific queries from your test cases. And third, analyze the query syntax to find and fix those bottlenecks before they ever get to production. By making this a regular part of your development process, you can ensure you're building fast, efficient, and user-friendly applications every single time. If you liked this video, please like and subscribe for more Appian tips and tricks. Write in the comments to let us know if you've used the Query Performance tab to solve a tricky issue in your own apps.